Spasticity can cause muscle spasms, pain, and discomfort. Research shows us that one of the best ways to self-manage spasticity without invasive techniques is to engage in a daily stretching routine to the affected muscles. So today I'm going to show you six gentle hip stretches that you can do lying down or sitting. For each stretch, we'll do four repetitions of 15 seconds each. The only thing you'll need for this video is a sturdy place to lie down and sit upright. For survivors with a little less movement, I may show some modifications using a belt or sheet. All right, let's get into it. All right, stretch number one is going to be focused on our hip flexors or the muscles that bend our hip up. Let's get into position and we're gonna do that by laying down on our back. So let's get into position. And as usual in most of my videos, I have got my affected side laying towards the camera. So for this hip flexor stretch, what you're gonna do is with your unaffected leg, you're going to bend your knee up and depending on where you're at, you can either just stay in this position and feel the lengthening happen across the front of your hip joint or if you have a little bit more movement or you're able to safely, you can bring your affected leg off the side of the bench here, just bending at the knee, and just feel a little bit of a greater stretch across those hip flexors. So you do what feels right for you, what's safe for you, and we're going to do a 15 second stretch, take a break, and then do three more of those. Let's start our timer, and here's our first set, 15 seconds on the clock, here we go. So these are all meant to be very gentle, slow movements, slow stretches. You shouldn't be like shaking your body or moving around, just rest here. That was 15 seconds. So just rest, take a little breather. Like I said, these are meant to be slow movements. Um, it should feel good, hopefully, doing these stretches. Let's go ahead and do our second 15 second hold, okay? so. Get into whichever position feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna come here with my leg hanging off the table. 15 seconds on the clock. We're just holding here, feeling that nice stretch. Taking a deep breath or two. And we're gonna relax. That was 15 second number two. Take a little breather here. Anytime throughout these stretches, throughout any of my videos that you need to pause, you need to get a drink of water, you just need to take a moment for yourself, that is a-okay. We're all working at our own pace here, okay? All right, let's get into our third stretch. Here we go. 15 seconds on the clock. We're counting down. Slow, deep stretch. Relaxing our muscles feeling them lengthen and relax. Good. All right, we have one more of these to do. Let's get into position. Ready and 15 seconds, here we go. Again, we're just feeling that nice lengthening feeling across the front of our hips. If any of this feels painful, I want you to back off and stop. Let's go ahead and rest. That was our last 15 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and move on to stretch number two. All right, our second stretch is gonna be focused on quadriceps. Really important muscle group as they help to flex the hip, bend it up, and they also help to extend the knee. So they're really hard workers, so they usually need a nice stretch. So you'll see here, I've got a sheet beside me. Um, I will show you the modification as this movement requires um, some flexibility. So if you don't have that, the sheet can come in handy. So let me show you what position we're gonna be on. We are going to be laying on our affected side. Now, usually I try to stay away from that, but it's gonna be important that we can use our unaffected hand to stretch out our affected leg. So that's why we're laying on this side. Just be very cautious 
When you're going to lay down, you may need someone to help you with this movement. Um, or if you have good control, just be cautious about where your arm is so you don't lay on it and squish it up underneath you and hurt yourself. We're gonna go ahead and lay down on our affected side. I'm gonna scooch this out of the way for the moment. All right. So before I show you the modification, let me show you the movement. Again, make sure that your affected arm is in a safe spot here. You're going to have your affected leg on the bottom. Unaffected leg is going to come over the top. If you have enough flexibility to bend your knee, bend it up, take your unaffected hand and grab at the ankle and then pull that leg back until you feel a nice stretch on the front of your leg, on the upper half of your leg. So that's what the movement is. Um, if this movement is too difficult for you or you don't have enough knee flexion or knee bending to get it back to that point, that's what the sheet's for. So I'm gonna show you a quick modification for those of you who might need a little bit more help. So the sheet is going to go underneath your affected leg. And then you are going to kind of wrap it around. So you have some going over the top, you have some coming underneath. So get it all together. Unaffected leg is, we're gonna go in the same position. Again, this can get a little bit complicated, so you may need to have someone help you with this movement. And then you're gonna grab onto your sheet with your unaffected hand, both sides, and use that to pull your leg up and back. So this is the movement we're gonna take and hold. I'm gonna show you with the sheet. So let me relax that leg back and grab my little timer here on my phone. So let's go ahead and get into position. Everybody make sure that you're feeling comfortable. So I am gonna cheat a little bit. I'm going to use this hand so I can start my timer for you all, okay? So grab your sheet or grab your leg, depending on what you're grabbing. Pull it back and we're holding for 15 seconds. So nice deep breath. Again, we're feeling that nice long stretch on the front of our leg and just relaxing. You're doing great. All right. That was the first 15 seconds, so just relax your leg back. Take a moment here. All right, let's go ahead and get into our second movement, okay? So, grab your leg or your sheet, pull back, and hold. Now you want to avoid really pulling and tugging. You don't wanna hurt yourself. It should feel like a very nice, gentle stretch. We have a couple more seconds holding here and relax. Nice job. All right. Take a little breather. Make sure that you're comfortable, you know, that you're not getting any tingling or numbness on your affected side as you're laying. Just be mindful of those things. Or if you have any pain in this position, skip this one, go to the next one. All right, let's go ahead and do our third stretch. Grab your sheet or your leg, pull back, gentle hold for 15 seconds. You're doing wonderful. Deep breath in and out. Good. And relax. Nice job. Just breathing here. We have got one more stretch. So let's set our timer. Bringing that leg back, stretching gently and holding for 15 seconds. Slow, gentle stretch, slow, gentle breaths. Doing great. And relax. All right, we'll move on to the next one.
All right, stretch number three is gonna be focusing on our hamstrings, big muscle group that's on the back of our upper leg. And they're really important because they help to extend the hip and also bend the knee. So very important muscle group to keep stretched. For this one, we are going to be in a long sitting position. Let me show you what that looks like. So if you're on a bed or a couch, you're just gonna turn sideways so that both of your legs are up on your sitting surface. Now I recommend if you have the ability to lean up against the arm of the couch, or if you're on the bed, you scoot up and support yourself with the headboard. That can make this a little easier when we go to take a rest break. If you're able and capable of putting weight through your affected arm and supporting yourself, you can use both of your arms. But if you can only just use your unaffected arm, then that's okay too. We're gonna be in long sitting. And when we go into our stretch, we're gonna do just a little lean forward and try to focus on kind of relaxing your legs. It's kind of hard to do. And there should be a little stretch happening on the back of your legs, back of your upper legs. So that's kind of the gentle version of this. Now, if you want to get a little bit more of a stretch, you can take your sheet and you're going to wrap it around your affected leg, around the foot of your affected leg, kind of bring it up towards your toes and pull your foot back towards you just a little bit. This is one of those positions that it will be helpful if you have something to lean back against while you're pulling, especially if you don't, if you're not able to use your affected arm to help stabilize you. So I'm gonna be showing you this way, um, but you do whatever is most comfortable for you, using the sheet or just doing a very gentle lean forward and feeling that stretch on the back of your legs. All right. So let me get my phone. We have got 15 seconds on the clock. Ready? Here we go. And stretch. I'll keep reiterating, it should always be a gentle stretch. Don't be pulling too hard, too far. Nice and easy does it. Good job and relax here. I'll say again here, if at any point you need to stop and take a rest break, that's a-okay. We're all going at our own pace here. All right, let's do stretch number two. Start my timer here, ready, and go. Gentle stretch. Shouldn't be feeling discomfort or pain. Hopefully it should feel good and relax. That was second 15 seconds. Doing great. Let's all just take a little deep breath here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. All right. We have two more stretches in this position. Ready? 15 seconds on the clock. Here we go. And start. Gentle, gentle stretch. Just holding here, doing great. And relax, nice job. All right, we have got our last 15 seconds here. Get into position, here we go. And stretch, great job. We are halfway through our stretches. You're doing wonderful. Hang with me. And relax. All right, I'll see you at stretch number four. All right, our next stretch is gonna be focused on hip rotation. So with your affected leg, if you can, bring it up to just gently resting on your unaffected knee. Now, from here, you're just going to very gently lean forward a bit 
and you should be feeling a stretch through your hip here. Now, I recommend that if you can get your foot on the ground to give you a little bit of support, that's gonna be the best way to do this. And it's not like you're gonna to have to come all the way over. We actually wanna avoid that. Just come over, push your chest gently forward, and you start to feel a stretch here in your upper leg and your hip. All right, so we have got 15 seconds on the clock. Let's go ahead, get into position, and here we go, 15 seconds. So we're doing just a nice gentle stretch. You might be leaning forward just a little bit, gently into that. Slow stretch, soft stretch. And relax, nice job. That was our first 15 seconds. We're gonna do our second here. So ready? Stay in position. Here we go, 15 seconds. Take it forward just a little bit, feeling a very light stretch through your leg and your hip. Taking some deep breaths here. Good. And relax, very nice. Two more of those to do. Let's go ahead and set our 15 seconds on the clock. Ready, here we go. Again, we're just gently leaning forward into this stretch. You're doing great. Should not feel painful. Should feel good and relax. Good job. Relax here for a moment. We've got one more of these stretches to do, okay? Whoops. All right, last 15 seconds is on the clock in position, ready, here we go. Gently take it forward. Little stretch, nice and soft. Doing great. And relax, great job. I'll see you at the next one. All right, let's get into our fifth stretch. We're gonna be focusing on the muscle groups that on that are on the inside of our upper leg, our hip adductors, which help bring our legs inward. So for this one, we are going to again, get into a long sitting position. This is going to be my affected side. I'm gonna turn this way this time so you have a better view of what I'm doing. So affected leg is coming up. Now, you can keep your affected leg straight. Your unaffected leg is gonna be having to do the movement. So you're going to bend up your unaffected leg and you're gonna to try to get your heel as close to your pelvis as you can. Um, again, if you need a little bit of support for this one, this is requiring some balance. You may do better leaning up against a wall, having someone behind you. Just make sure that you're taking precautions to be safe. But what you should be feeling when you bring your, your unaffected leg and bend it up like this is a nice stretch on the inside of your affected leg. So this is the movement that we're gonna be in for the next stretches. So let me get my timer here. Whoop. Go ahead and get into position. And let's set our timer. We have got 15 seconds on the clock. Deep breath here. Very nice. And if you even want a little bit more of a stretch, you can, again, just gently bring your chest forward just a little bit. We're not pressing too far. Relax. Nice job. Take a little breather here, and we'll go ahead and do our next 15 second hold. Here we go. Ready, 15 seconds is on the clock. Here we go. Lean forward just a smidge. Getting nice stretch on the inside here. Doing great. And relax, good job. All right, halfway through, we have got two more of these left. So 
Let's go ahead, 15 seconds on the clock. Let's get into position. All right, gently leaning forward so we can feel that nice stretch here. Opening up those hips, our legs, feeling those muscles lengthen. Hopefully it should feel good, not painful, and relax. Good job. If it does ever become painful, go ahead and stop. Do not push through pain. That is never the way that we wanna do things. All right, we have got one more 15 seconds. Here we go, get into position. Here we go. We're gently leaning forward, getting that nice stretch. Again, feeling those muscles lengthen. Deep breath. Relax, great job. Let's move on to our last stretch. All right, our last stretch is going to be pulling our knee to our chest. And that is hoping to stretch not only our hips, but also stretch a little bit into our lower back. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down on our back. Bringing both knees up at the same time may not be viable for you. If it is, go ahead and bring both of your knees up and you can hold on to both of your legs with your unaffected hand. If you have any movement in your affected hand and you wanna to try to help, that's great too, bring it in. If that is too complicated, try to bring your affected leg up and just try to hold that one. Now, if this puts too much of a strain on your unaffected leg here, you can bend your knee up to help out and just gently try to bring your knee to your chest. It's all about finding what works for you. So let's go ahead and get into our first 15 seconds. Let me grab my timer. Ready? And let's get into position. I'll show you this way. Good. And start. Very nice. Deep breath in and out. You have made it to the last stretch. Good job. And relax. Good. Again, this may be a stretch that, depending on where you're at in your journey, it may be more helpful to have someone help you. Um, we know that every survivor is just so different. Um, in where they're at, how they're recovering. So if you need someone, there's no shame in that to help you. But if you have the capability to do it on your own, go for it. Let's get into our second set of 15 seconds. Get into position. Here we go. Bringing that knee just a little bit closer to your chest stopping if at any point that you start to feel pain or discomfort. Want it to be a nice and gentle stretch, just as they have been for the rest of them. Relax. Very nice job. So for the last two, I'm gonna go ahead and show you with both of my knees up. Let's go ahead and do our third set, 15 seconds, here we go. I'm using both of my hands for this one. This position should feel very calming, relaxing. We're not bouncing, not bouncing our legs. We're holding a static hold, meaning no movement. Relax. Very nice, doing great. Let's go ahead and do our last stretch, everyone. We have got 15 seconds on the clock. Let's get into position. And here we go. Gentle stretch, pulling those knees in just a little bit tighter. Breathing into it. Nice job, everyone. I hope that you feel a little more relaxed. I hope that high muscle tone is calmed down just a little bit. 
and that you have a great rest of your day. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you found these stretches helpful. I'd love to hear your feedback. And as always, I'm leaving a link down in the description to sign up for my email list, which gets you three free stroke recovery tips a week and motivational emails. It also gets you access to my free ebook, The Stroke Recovery Pocket Guide. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.